Hi guys, well this is the uh, first video back after coming back from Fu Quoc, <clears throat> lost my voice, um, put on a bit of weight since I was away, uh, still didn't really get rid of it after Tet holiday and Christmas to be honest, I only had three weeks, I was training hard but you know it's, it's very difficult so now it's uh, less for breakfast, more training, more dog walking, I'm um, just taking Ginger out for her first walk for a while so uh, I just thought I'd pop in and see the garden so the garden's growing quite a bit you'll have to <laughs> excuse me I haven't got a clue what half of this stuff is so <laughs> you know me down to earth um, so you see just after uh, over 10 days 11 days now since I've 12 days probably since I filmed this it's, uh, it's growing quite a bit these are the cucumbers We've left a bucket here for the rain, rainwater. It's rained this morning, but not a lot. So, so the grow, the cucumbers are growing, climbing the net quite well. Some, uh, I think, we'll have to come back down on some of them. And these are the green beans. So the green beans are growing quite well as well. So, I think in a few weeks we should start to see something. And out here we've got loads of stuff. I think those are all corn. That looks like corn actually, all the way over there. And the banana trees and the on the edges as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go and head out to the rice field, see what that looks like now. It should be should be growing quite quite well actually, so let's get that net back on, stops the, anything coming in. So we're gonna have a look, see how that's going on. Looking pretty green, fellas. These are the rice fields that were planted a few days before, for probably four or five days before ours. So it's reached past the height of the the contour, the rat um, protector. So the fence. Who's that coming down here? It's our Wilming. <laughs> Bloody hell, he must be walking with his auntie. Hello! <laughs> oh, we're tired already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. See you later. Bye. She doesn't know what she's doing. Back and forth, back and forth. Just go for a walk, man. Forgotten how to do it. This little guy here. <laughs> Always has a big smile on his face. He only has one cow, I think. So we'll uh, head out to the rice field and I'll show you how it's going. Cheers. So basically, what's going to happen over the next few weeks, I'm going to slot in a couple of videos of uh, Fu Kwok, but I'll also continue with Vietnam Village Life and the odd news report. The odd, I mean, news is just the odd one here and there. The COVID situation has, uh, has now passed, so it's looking like everything's getting back to normal or close to normal in Hai Zuong and uh, the, the main outbreak areas like uh, Quang Ning and uh, in Lin Se, Chi Lin City in uh, Hai Zuong. So it's looking like it's uh, great again. So I'm, uh, you know, going to throw in the odd video here and there in between the Fu Quoc series, you know, just to tease you <laughs> with some beautiful footage of uh, a great time in Fu Quoc. I'm going to uh, split up some of the days because uh, some of the videos could be hours long so <laughs> I don't know if you saw if you saw the um, the live broadcasts I did a few but it was difficult to get the Wi-Fi and uh, uh, you know and keep it going for as long as I could but um, I found a couple of spots and I even did a Sao Beach 
live broadcast so I did that for about an hour and a half I think but I was I was on a, a day day out visiting other places so I couldn't stay too long so yeah keep uh, keep up with those guys those uh, videos guys uh, the last video that you will have seen would have been the buffet delights and that was uh, breakfast and dinner buffets at the resort so if you haven't yet seen that video please do click on the link in the description I uh, <laughs> I enjoyed it. I think you'll you'll be able to tell by the expressions on my face when I was uh, chowing down on some of the delights from the the uh, Danish pastries and also for the the dinner at the buffet. Some of the bits on there, man, such a great place to to eat at. Having a French chef really does show, and in in the uh, even. Even the last breakfast I had, the lady, one of the ladies didn't really know what scrambled egg was. The younger lady did, but hers were quite dry. The French chef, Patrick, did it. <laughs> oh my God, creamy. And that's why I'm on a fitness drive now. Apart from the fact, <laughs> today, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but today, we're having a, a an official birthday party for my 50th, so I feel like the Queen. I'm not a Queen. Just get that get that put to bed. Um, I feel like uh, I've got two birthdays, so I'm going to have a bit of a shindin here today at the village in our house. So in next door, actually, it's bigger, more room. So we're going to have family members come round and have some food and obviously beers and uh, rice wines and you know so that's on the that's in the evening and tomorrow apparently yeah, there's two parties one at the aunties and one at our house so I think Nat is going to go along to the, the aunties party to show her face and her support but the main party is going to be at our house so I'm not quite sure what that's for to be honest <laughs> so uh, I'm going to Start my fitness drive Monday. <laughs> you know, I had Christmas. Okay, let's get over that. Let's train. Tet. Okay, let's get over that and train. Holiday. Okay, let's let's get try and get over that. Train. And then, you know, and it's probably going to be another celebration of someone's death uh, very soon. Uh, so that's. I know it's very. Very tough, I know, and I should be more uh, convi I should be more committed to actually doing it. But um, with all this good food and beer and that, you know, it's very difficult. But anyway, I will still train hard, and I will uh, I will eat and drink less than I usually do. I'm at the rice field now. I should bring a stick with me to to gauge or even a me you know a tape measure maybe gauge because I'm not climbing down there every day or every week because it's getting dirtier and dirtier and uh but I'll show you what it's looking like now see if I can get down a bit so this is not actually to the level of the uh base of the rice field so but you can see my fingers there and it's 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 at least two hands from the top of the where the water is the water level is and then you've got another couple of inches can't really tell with the water there maybe a couple of inches there so you've got a couple of inches and a couple of heart palms of rice plant so still no uh, seedlings on the uh, plants yet it's still just the the green stuff but as you can see it's getting there guys i keep saying that don't I? getting there when it's there i was saying it's got here right so that's the uh the rice field now now you can still see just in here where the patches were and just here as well you see there so there you can see a, a vast difference in the 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 length of the the rice plants 
they were actually uh, if you didn't see the video in this area here the our uh, Nat's sister came along with a friend and planted actually physically uh, three or four week old rice plants into this area so they're kind of not caught up with the rest of it yet so then maybe yeah, you can still see that some are larger than others but <clears throat> once it gets going it'll shit once it gets going then you'll see it's it's just vast amounts of uh, all nice flowing green rice plants and it's uh, it's fantastic to look at and now you see all the old, whole area nice and green now hopefully we get to a stage before harvest it turns a it, you'll see the yellow because of the plant the actual seedlings are yellower than the, the actual stems so yeah I thought I'd do a quick video you'll have seen the, the buffet delights but uh, this is the first video back at the village I arrived back home yesterday and it's actually time for me to go through all the food quack stuff man have I got a lot of footage to look through Jesus <laughs> that's why I need to throw in a couple of uh, quick village life videos and news video videos to uh, help me because um, there's a lot to do but I've got drone footage I've got seafood markets I've got bee farms pepper farms fish sauce factory I managed to get there Michael and what else have I got Sal Beach walk walk through now I nearly lost all that footage I had to scramble for it and and get it off the disc somehow but I managed to do it um, what else have I got oh the speedboat trip man for my birthday that was amazing <laughs> bit of a ride like Jesus always reminds me of that video with the music going giving it some where they're speeding along where there's, there's three two or three women in bikinis and a guy bald-headed guy driving a speedboat and then it just goes boom I'm, <laughs> shit don't want that to happen I'll be putting that to music um, so yeah speedboat and then the uh, sea walking that's fantastic if you ever get a chance to do that definitely do it but uh, anyway I'll wrap up for now those videos are coming so please click subscribe like the video and click that bell so that you notify of these new videos that are coming up there's going to be loads of videos coming up I'm really looking forward to you to showing you Fu Kwok it's a fantastic place and hopefully that's the first place to open up and if you want to go there please contact us and get our business kick-started again link is in the description but our email is on screen now so catch you later guys cheers <laughs>